Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi with SRLounge.com, and in this Lightroom 4 preset system mixology tutorial, we're going to show you guys how to create kind of that nice, warm, vintage, faded look that's becoming very popular on today's photography. So, let's do it. It's going to take a few simple clicks. What we're going to do is make sure that your standard import preset is applied already. We're going to open up our base adjustments. Let's add a little bit of exposure just to brighten up our images because we do want to keep images with kind of a nice bright look with this uh, preset. We're also going to flatten out the dynamic range just to kind of smooth out the highlights a bit. Um, now with detail it's kind of an option. You guys can either go with light soften or you can, guys can do a light boost. I wouldn't recommend uh, going above that. A light soften is kind of nice. It gives you that ethereal look if you guys want to have that look. I'm going to leave it on the light boost though. Next thing we're going to do is do a light fade to contrast. And then we're going to close the base adjustments. We're going to go down to our warm curves and we are going to apply the warm cross neutral punch to this image. And we get that nice warm uh, vintage look to this and we're going to save this out now five or six clicks later as a new preset for our mixology folder. So we're going to call this the, uh, let's call it warm vintage or we'll call it yeah we'll call it warm vintage fade I'm not very creative when it comes to naming I like to keep it kind of more simple we'll hit create and now what I'd say is if you guys want to make you know temperature adjustments and stuff like that just to kind of tweak the colors a little bit you can do that just by dragging the slider or do whatever you like but here's that before here's the after and let's check it out applied to another image so again this works really cool on uh, or it works really well on images that are kind of more whimsical, more candid in nature. Um, at least that's kind of my opinion. So I'm going to apply it to this one. We can just, uh, I hit previous, but you guys can hit the warm vintage fade. And then again, make your tweaks. This image was a little bit darker than the previous one, so I might do like a 1.5 lighten just to keep it more on the bright side. So again, two clicks on this one. We go from that to this. Let's uh, check out, let's see if there's other images that we can apply this to. Let's apply it to one of our model shots over here. So let's reset out this, uh, well actually let's just select this new one. We'll do the warm vintage fade. And we get a really nice warm vintage fade to this image. As you can see this image works very well in wheat fields. Let's try it out in a different setting though. Let's go to, oh this downtown one looks kind of cool. Let's do this image right here. And let's apply it and see what we get. Ooh, that has kind of a nice look to it. Get a nice warm vintage look downtown. Again, you guys can always tweak it if you want it to be more on the green side. Just uh, kind of bring this tint down, like maybe to negative 40-ish, and then we're going to bring the temperature down, and we get kind of a different color toning in that. But again, that's a cool, little, quick, easy mixology for creating that warm vintage faded look in Lightroom 4. All right, guys, hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you guys with the next tutorial.